Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I'm speaking with Rachel Avery Conley, who is the founder of Photoscribe. We're going to find out about what Photoscribe is all about, uh, and, I, I, and I promise you this is going to be very, very interesting because it's something that's dear to my heart, which is writing and content creation. In fact, this video is my attempt to co create content, as uh, Rachel would probably agree. Yep. Rachel, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I also want to mention to you, my listeners here, that this is a co-sponsored interview with Inspire Photo Retreats, which is a, a wonderful conference that's going to take place next month uh, in February in yep. Portland, Maine. Uh, the dates are February, February 9th, 9th through the 11th. 11th. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> and Rachel is... Uh, going to be there. She was there last year as uh, a presenter, I believe, and yes. she's coming back this year as a sponsor. She's going to be talking to people about their WordPress website. She's going to have a, an expert on hand, uh, and she's also going to be talking about how to create content for people's websites, which is huge, huge, huge. She's amazing. Uh, so again, welcome, Rachel. Thanks for joining Thank me. Thank you. Thank you again for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Inspire is very near and dear to my heart. I think you and I met at the second Inspire conference in um, 2010 or 2011 that year. Yeah, That's right. it was great. Indeed, indeed. And, and the, the conference has hasn't grown as much because I think they want to keep it intimate, yep. which is amazing. Uh, you know, most people want to have thousands and thousands of people come. Yep. But I think the organizers are so um, so committed to making it an intimate and, and just a, a, a really an amazing experience for everybody. Um, and they've limited it to, I think, 250 people, right? Something yeah, and like the community, I mean, the community goes beyond each 250 attendees each year. And, I mean, that that community is really how I was able to build this business. The feedback, the, you know, the immediacy, the emotional. It's just, it's a great retreat. Excellent. Let's talk about your business, Photoscribe. Photoscribe. What is it all about? Photoscribe is a premium blogging agency and content creation I guess agency as well. <laughs> okay. um, so we do regular blogging for photographers. Um, we have a structure so that they can are able to blog in the same day and the same time every week. We utilize a system of forms so that they're able to keep their unique voice and point of view, and then we arrange that. In addition, we take their images and we do some light culling for the blog posts and we put them in blog stomp and we add SEO keywords and we, we really just make a powerful blog post for a photographer. Um, and it goes up every week at the same day and the same time. And then we focus on other content creation. So we do guides and we do email marketing and we do website pages. Um, anything that you need as a photographer to get more clients, you know, we help you create. Fantastic. Um, yeah. you know, some of your clients you you started mentioning to me before we recorded are people I know and they're you know, they're busy photographers. So what you do is exactly what I think uh, somebody like Jared Bauman would say, you know, outsource it and, and yeah. make it happen so uh, so that your business continues uh, to grow uh, in ways that you want it to grow. Um, this is interesting though. Uh, you know, Jared's business is all about, you know, outsourcing the processing and enhancing of digital files. Yep. And yours is all about the the final uh, almost push to the public, which is amazing. Um, yep. You know, you have uh, systems in place where you can uh, you not only help photographers create content, but also push it out into you know, whether it's social media or whatever, right? Yep, exactly. I mean, what was happening is I was a portrait photographer. I was actually started as a pet photographer, which there's more now. When I It was 2010 when I started, and there was nobody in the space. Um, and then I moved into families and children portraits. But what my photographer friends kept asking me was, you know, you know WordPress really well. Can you just blog for me? And I'd always be like, no, it has to be your voice. It has to be your point of view. And then I thought, well, why can't I blog for them? Like, I love blogging. I love helping other photographers. I love this community. Um, so I, I created the system of forms, and the demand just was immediate, which was amazing. So I was able to contract some writers, some graphic designers, and now I have a great community of creative people helping other creative people. So it's gone beyond just me, and, and I, I love every second of it. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, we, were, we were also discussing uh, your background, which is incredibly... Yeah, you know, very varied. Very, very 
<laughs> exotic almost. I mean, you started out as as uh, as, as what you you were. Uh, I was a video major at Hofstra University, which is in Long Island. Oh. And then I uh, moved into Manhattan, and I got a oh, job on Broadway. On Broadway, wow. Yes, okay. so I was uh, doing lighting design, and I was working for um, a Broadway theater in their administrative. And then I moved to Boston to work for the Tweeter Center, which is Great Woods, which is now a different corporate name. Um, but I realized that wasn't sort of my MO for my whole life, so I left and went to MIT, which I loved. I love MIT. It's another great community. Um, but I was doing HR, which was really, really left brain, and I'm really right brained. So I was able to leave my job there and start my own photography business, and I have just, you know, never looked back. I love being a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, and yeah. really, I love it. So. Now, are you still a photographer, or do you, is Photoscribe taking so much of your time that you're you, you don't have to do photography as much anymore? I love shooting. Um, I always struggled with a lot of the things that photographers struggle with the business of photography. So Photoscribe has enabled me to be to have my own business and do the shooting on sort of my own terms. So I'm out there still shooting but it's not in a professional capacity anymore. Excellent. But I do. I love it. I mean photography is a passion. That's how so many, you know, that's why there are so many out there that are just trying to make it, you know, and right. I love it. So right. I, I do. I'm always out there shooting, but my business focus right now is on Photoscribe. Indeed. Um, I'm going to ask you this question about Photoscribe and how how you approach uh, photographers who are reluctant, I guess, uh, and don't see the immediate value of blogging. What yep. do you usually tell people? You know, it's interesting. Um, my first round was people who... My first round of clients were people who do understand the value of blogging. Yeah. I mean, you understand the value of blogging. Tiffin Box is an amazing resource. And what um, the education that I'm trying to give to photographers is the difference between monetized blogging versus business blogging versus personal blogging. So just because you have a business blog, it doesn't mean you want to go out there and put like what you had for dinner. Maybe that's on Instagram, you know. Um, but putting your blog and doing it at a, at a regular and consistent time, 40% of the web is built on robots, those Google robots out searching. So your organic SEO, like you pick Wednesday at 1 o'clock and you do that every, your organic SEO starts to blow through the roof. And, you know, I started telling people this before I really had the numbers and the proof back. But after a year of doing this, I mean, I'm blown away by the numbers. So what I tell people is, do you want to book more? And they say yes. And I say, are you doing any marketing? And they say, well, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. You know, and I said, do you have photo shoots? And they said yes. And I said, then just blog once a week, the same day and the same time, and you will be amazed. You won't have time to blog anymore because your bookings are going to be up. And so that's how, I mean, it, there's still work involved for people to blog with me through the system of forms and such. Um, and what's been happening with my clients is they're getting so many bookings, they don't even have time to do the work to help me blog with them. <laughs> so at that point, I talk to them about raising their prices and getting into the next tier of where they want their business to be. Excellent. So yeah, it's been a journey. I've, really, I've been really fortunate to work. Um, I have clients from Hawaii to Connecticut. So I've been fortunate to work with some really talented people, and I love it. Um, the the idea of, of letting go is also problematic for a lot yes. of photographers. You know, yep. I was just talking to a photographer yesterday and uh, explaining the the benefits of blocking and um, and and she was a little bit reluctant to to commit and say, yep. hey, listen, I, I I can I can make the pictures, but somebody else can can actually put it all together for me. You know, and she was a little dumbfounded by the idea. You know, that that can be uh, an option. Uh, again, uh, is letting go one of the biggest obstacles you may have encountered as a as a as a business person? I think I think people who are on the fence of signing up that's definitely something that I think about. Um, Shoot dot you mentioned Jared Bauman. Yeah, he has done a really great job of creating this ninety ten. Uh, method of outsourcing and we were really fortunate to be able to work with him on some of that content and we believe in that a hundred percent you know what we do is we get you ninety percent of the way there we take care of renaming your images we take care of the forms allow us to take your words and just rearrange them when you answer the forms which have questions like what was your most memorable moment at an event you can just type 
you can just, you know, you don't have to worry about grammar. You don't have to worry about spelling. We take care of all that. And then we put it in WordPress and we, or whatever your blog platform. I actually have people blogging on all platforms. Um, but what we do is we put it there so it's 90% of the way. And then I always encourage photographers to go in and I, I say, look, this is your words, but add more. Add your voice. Add your, you know, underneath your favorite image. Say, this was my favorite image because, you know, um, it's really, it's about getting you almost there right. and having you go in and add that extra 10% that only you can do. Excellent. That, that, was my, that was going to be my follow-up question is in terms of tone, in terms of, uh, you know, because, you know, as PhotoScribe, uh, as, as PhotoScribe, you weren't there at the event. Whether exactly. It was, right? Yep. So you really couldn't feel, uh, you know, what would happen on the dance floor or yep. you, can, you can see, the, you know, the bride crying at the, at the altar or whatever, you know. And yep. those things, as you said, you know, those... The, those experiences need to be expressed by uh, the photographer um, uh, directly. Yep. So tone is important. And so uh, it's interesting to hear you say that you, you sort of shuffle it back to the photographer and say, finishes off. And this is your post. Well, they and, don't have to. I'm just saying to. Oh, that they, yeah, yeah the, the, the forms that we have, I mean, really captures their essence. Um, the biggest compliment I ever got was a potential client looking at two of my current clients, and they said that if you didn't tell me you were blogging for both of them, I never would have known because their voices were so different and so unique. Right. So Beautiful. the only thing at a wedding that's different as a photographer is the photographer and the couple. And I, as a writer, compiler, um, can't capture that unless what the photographer gives me in the forms gotcha. and the fact that there's no pressure and there's no you know worry about grammar some of these I mean photographers are artists and they're creating these images and when they are allowed to just talk about it I'm telling you they themselves have the gems in the words inside them it's just getting it out and getting it into a place where they can express it sort of without having to worry about it so yeah, I don't. I don't even call myself a writer because they do most of the writing in the forms. All I, I'm just a compiler in terms of I'm a blogger. I put it all together for them. Um, yeah, awesome. it's been a really great journey. Fantastic. And now, Photo Photoscribe has been around for how many years now? So we started in 2013 um, in October. So we're just coming up on probably our 18 month anniversary when when Inspire happens. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. And, you know, this is a, a rather unique service. I don't. I don't know of any other uh, service like it. No, uh, not in the photography space. There's right. uh, there's a lot of competition out there with writers, right? Um, but we are the only one in the photography space at this time, and we're wait, really wait, excited about that. Wait, you, you, there's competition. Wait, I get, the writers can't write their own blog posts. No, there's a lot of competitions for photographers that go to writers to help them with oh, their blog oh, posts. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So oh, that's more that of that sense. traditional structure that you had talked about where they hire a writer to do the writing for them. Right. Um, we do a little bit more than that in that we do, again, the compiling of their words plus their images to really create a story for each blog post. Right. I mean, what I love about this, uh, Rachel, is uh, you know, it's sort of hands-off in a way, you know, until the point when you really want to get back into it and want to tweak it to your own, you know, yep. tone or whatever. Uh, it seems uh, like the best of both worlds for photographers out there, you know. Yeah, we've really found a lot of people who were reluctant about the service, who have signed up. Um, they love it. They, you know, we have a turnover rate, I think, um, out of all the clients that we booked last year, only three of them chose not to go beyond their initial contract. And for some of those, it was because blogging was just not not what they were comfortable with. Um, I had one photographer who would go out in the garden instead of answering my phone calls. And I finally said to her, you know, I think your money would be better spent doing marketing in a different version. And that's okay. Right. You are an artist and you don't have to blog. And, you know, sometimes it's better spent. And for the, her, that was an education. And now she's able to go out and she's doing some speaking engagements and she's getting clients that way. And for her, that's her personality. That's her artistic vision, you know. Sure. So I loved being able to help her get to that point as well. Sure. Strategies can be uh, very different for different people, no doubt. I mean, exactly. we're not trying to uh, advocate for uh, or say that the blogging is the only way. Um, you know, certainly I found 
uh, for my efforts, um, being able to go out and being a part of the chamber, for instance, has yep. helped. Uh, being uh, a speaker has helped. Absolutely. You know, definitely getting out there and, and being seen, even in the Cub Scouts, I, my kids' Cub Scouts. Yes. You know, I've gotten jabs <laughs> from other parents who who say, hey, hey, you're a photographer. You take pictures at our, you know, Pinewood Derby. You know, uh, yep. let's, let's get you uh, and to f- come and photograph our family. So it's it's all, in all different ways. And But blogging is interesting because, of course, it makes your website dynamic. It makes your, yep. uh, you know, you you are fresh in the minds of not only your your clients but also uh, Google and other web en- uh, search engines. Yep. You know, uh, and I, I yeah, everybody uh, talks about SEO. This SEO is this right. big scary thing, right. and no, and there are really talented people who can help you with your SEO. Um, but what blogging does regularly and consistently, and it's hard to put a blog up every Wednesday at one o'clock, is is a full time job in some ways. Yeah. Um, so don't lessen. I don't want to lessen the importance of a photographer blogging on their own is amazing. Anything you can do to get your image out there, images out there. But by blogging regularly and consistently and having structure around it, now you're not only catering to your clients, you're also catering again to those Google robots, and your numbers just start to change really quickly. Right. Um, you know, I have, when I started, a lot of photographers said, well, I post four blogs in one day. And I'm like, guys, I get it. You know, you've done all this work. You have four blogs in the queue. You know, you want to get them out and share them. But that's four weeks of content if you schedule it out. Um, you know, everybody said, well, I want to get it out there. And I'm like, but you still are. But by doing it regularly and consistently, you're not only getting it out there so that it's seen by your friends, but seen by everybody. So, right. It's, it's just a different way of thinking about it. Excellent. Um, Rachel, I know you are going to be at Inspire uh, throughout the entire event. Um, yeah. Those of us who are who have signed up and, and will be good, will be there, I think we're going to have a, a great time coming up and just talking to you yes, about, about, the, about the service that you've just mentioned, which is PhotoScribe. Uh, but you also have a, a WordPress uh, professional uh, with you at, uh, at Inspire, right? You I do. Have, Hillary Stock, she runs a WordPress customization business. Oh, excellent. Um, so t- she's catering to building themes out and custom- ugh, customizing them to your specific needs. So, yeah, we'll have lots of people. And then um, I will be at WPPI this year. So I'm not exhibiting, but I will be there talking. So if you are come, if you see me, come say hi. I love to talk about blogging, really. I'll talk your ear off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us today, Rachel. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.